Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are on our main floor bathroom. This bathroom started out as a horrible lime green pukey color. Did not even want to come in here, like rarely ever use this bathroom. Um, so with a little work and a lot of love, we have completely transformed this space, like not even recognizable. I want to spend all the time in here. Um, so if you guys are ready to see the fine details, I will start with the before. Project, we are going to do board and batten on the bottom half of the walls. After so many projects, we finally got a stud finder. So we're just going through and marking all the studs for the board and batten. Our first order of business is to remove all this old baseboard and quarter round so that we can put up our board and batten. So I'm just going to rip all of that off. Okay, we've got the quarter round off, and now I'm going to attempt to get this baseboard off. going to attempt to remove this builder's grade mirror. Hopefully it's not going to shatter everywhere and hopefully it's a pretty smooth process. Now that we're done demoing, I'm just going to measure for our first board. We have cut number two measured and in place, and we're gonna put on number three. Are you helping? Uh. Yeah. All our bottom boards measured out, and now I'm just ready for the vertical slats and I decided that I wanted to go just underneath of this electrical outlet so we cut these ones 36 and a half and then we'll have our three and a half inch top board around so I'm just going to measure all these and cut them and then we'll get everything put on now that our wood's all cut and measured we're just going to go and nail gun them into the studs that we marked finished up the bottom base and now we're going through and doing the vertical boards all around. Uh, where's, where's that level? Alright, we've got our board and batten all up. We are ready for paint. I'm so excited to cover up these ugly green walls. It is seriously the worst color green. I am the world's messiest painter, so I just went ahead and taped around the board and batten and then down around the floor so that I don't get any on our floor. And now we're ready. The color I chose for the board and batten today is Sherman Williams Color of the Year Evergreen Fog. I'm super excited to get it on the walls and see what it looks like. It looks like such a pretty color just in the can. And I'm really excited to get rid of this terrible lime green. All right, we are ready to roll it on. Ooh, I love this color. It looks so good.
Okay, I totally forgot how long it takes to paint board and batten. There's so many cracks and crevices. Um, but we have our first coat on. It's looking really nice. Definitely needs a second coat though, so I'm gonna go back and do that now. Our second coat's on and drying, and now I'm just gonna go over the top with Greek Villa, and I'm hoping that it really complements the evergreen fog. Anything, honestly, is better than this awful lime green. got the final coat of all of our paint on. It's looking really nice so far and now we just need to put our finishing touches on. Okay, I don't love this vanity color and honestly I wasn't going to paint it. Um, it's like a super smooth surface. It really doesn't even feel like wood. My husband thinks it's going to work though so we're going to try it. Um, I took 60 grit sandpaper and just kind of lightly sanded all over it. I'm going to remove the hardware and then we are going to attempt to paint it and I guess worst comes to worst we'll buy a new one. So let's see how it works out. The color I chose for the vanity is Urban Bronze. Um, it's just what I had left over from our laundry room project. I did not intend on painting this so hopefully it ties everything together nicely. Personal preference but I like to paint with the door still on. Not sure why I think that it's faster that way. But to me, it's what I prefer. Usually not most people's choice, obviously. All right, we've got one coat on. I'm feeling pretty skeptical about it. I'm gonna let it dry though and attempt a second coat. We'll see what happens. Okay, coat number two looks so much better. Although I see a spot that I missed. Um, I'm feeling a little better about it. Okay, now that we've finished all our touch-ups, I'm just gonna put the hardware on. I've chosen gold accents. I think it'll look really nice with all the colors in here. So I'm just going to get those put on right now. My husband is now installing our new gold faucet. It looks so much better than the gross stainless steel one that was in there. I'm so glad that he's so handy. It really helps out. We don't have to mess with a plumber, an electrician, anything. He has been able to do it all for us. Behind the mirror, we decided to do a palette look. It would give it some accent. The mirror was a kind of a little smaller than I thought it was going to be, and I thought this was a great way to make it pop. Now that our mirror's up, we are ready for our final touches and decor and the big reveal. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun transforming this space and I would love to hear your opinion of your favorite part of the room down below. And if you could also give this a thumbs up and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Thanks.